Yes, folks, it is review time once again. This is the second weather radio that came in the mail the other day. This is the Radio Shack 12-500 Cube Weather Radio. This weather radio is very, very nifty. It's a good weather radio to have. However, it does not utilize SAME technology, meaning it doesn't go on automatically. You just push it to tune to the channel and get the forecast like so. And, of course, there is an LED inside this little compartment right there. Mostly cloudy. Highs in the mid-50s, lows in the lower 30s, Wednesday and Wednesday night, mostly cloudy. Highs in the mid-60s, lows in the lower 40s. The current time is 2.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And that was Paul, and the voice before that was Tom. Here, they're going to identify, so I'm going to show you that. All hazards, WXL 60, broadcasting from the National Weather Service office in Blacksburg, Virginia, and transmitting on a frequency of 162.475 megahertz from an antenna, located on the WVPF National Public Radio Tower on Poor Mountain, two miles northwest of Bend Mountain, Virginia, in Roanoke County. Thank you, that's better. All right, so uh, now that you've heard them identify and heard how the weather radio sounds, it does have base on this weather radio this has this is the basiest basiest i don't know the re the the weather radio this is the only weather radio i've heard with the that amount of bass i mean i can literally hold my hand on it and feel it and it and, it, and you can hear how it sounds kind of bass ish i don't even know what the word is anyway the antenna is about only one foot long it is retractable meaning i can just push it right down there and still get reception because we live near the tower 9.81 inches and falling and that's pretty simple. Let me pull this up. Uh, that's better. All right. So, yes, that is about one foot long, that antenna. And it's a very simple weather radio to operate. It mostly involves four AA batteries. It has the NOAA logo. It's got this power button with an LED inside of it. Radio Shack logo. Nice cube interface. Rotation. Slow motion rotation right here. Yes, you know you want this weather radio. And apparently my, I just heard my email go off. Anyway, let's turn this, let's do a little, let's do a little surgery here. I'm just kidding, this isn't surgery. But uh, if you can't already see, right here it says, oh, well, uh, first of all, I have it tuned, turned the wrong way. It says WX tuning for this wheel right here. You can choose between 162.4 megahertz or 162.55 megahertz. Those are the seven weather bands. It's very, very simple to operate. And right here is the volume control. And of course, right here is the battery compartment. Nothing really special. It's got the thing right here. Now, this is a very special weather radio. Also, it's rare and it's discontinued. I got it off Amazon for a couple bucks. It's really, 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 really nice. Back in the 70s, they used to make those cube radios that would have the little push thing on the top. If you've seen my WR, I mean, if you've seen my 12-149A uh, weather radio review by Realistic Tandy from like the 70s or the 80s, then you know what I'm talking about. Radio Shack used to manufacture those kinds of radios in the 80s that had just one push button on the top to get the weather. Looking back. And that's basically what you did. But... They're very, very antique. However, this one is pretty much its uh, its uh, sequel to that. This is the new and improved Cube Radio from the 70s, folks. This was manufactured a couple years ago, but this is new and improved, supposedly. And, um, yeah, pretty much this is this is the radio. You can I'm going to show you the volume functions and the tuning functions. Then I'll show you the uh, other weather radio over there. Uh, the one that I have, the 12-149A, which is pretty much the cousin to the old weather radios. I'll get into this whole thing in a second. Code level green, which is good. Here's the tuning the switch. Blue. Yes, that is the tuning switch. I know, the volume is still up. Southern that's our Lynchburg, that's our Lynchburg station on 162.55, and this is 162.475. Winds around 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an Volume. hour. Tonight, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 30s. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Sunday, mostly sunny. And that's pretty simple with that. It's a very simple weather radio to operate. Again, four AA batteries. And really quickly, I'll show you the 12-149A, which is kind of like the grandpa to this radio. It's not a cube radio, though, the, the old one that I have. However... I'm still going to show that to you.
All right, here it is. Here is the 12-149 Realistic Candy Weather Radio from the 80s or 70s. Still not sure. Very rare weather radio. I've done a review on this before. Uh, click the link in the description to get that review. See, it's just a simple push button for the weather. That's all it was. And this was in a cube form. It looked like this, but in a cube form with one button on the top. Just like that one over there. An hour with gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Sunday night. Here, I'll do an audio comparison North between these two radios. North winds around 10 miles an hour until midnight, becoming light and variable. Finally, the forecast. Virginia, including Rocky Mount, Stewart, Martinsville, Danville, and South Boston. This is this radio Carolina talking right now. Reedsville and Janseyville. And this is this radio. Sunny. Near steady temperature in the mid 60s. Very simple, very similar, rather, weather radios. Uh, very, very similar. It's a good radio to have for emergency situations to take anywhere. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and click the link in the description to see the review I did on this here little guy. And subscribe for more videos, guys.